Today I'm going to talk, tell y'all five reasons Miami Dolphins will beat the Baltimore Ravens on Thursday night football. Now historically we have struggled with them and Baltimore Ravens will lose to the Miami Dolphins is because of their run defense. They have the worst run defense in the league. They're giving up like 140 yards per game. And now simply put, we're going to dominate y'all. Not the run to begin with, all right? First of all, niggas don't even know your, your running back name. Alex Collins and Javoris Allen. Y'all can't be that good. You, you, you can put a fork in it, bro. Back here in Baltimore where the final score was 40 to nothing. The Ravens. I guess you could say I was slightly wrong on that last one, but today I got another five reasons why because we do play the Oakland Raiders tomorrow now. I mean, come on, guys. It, it, everybody gets something wrong every once in a while, man. And at the end of the day, man, we got outplayed. And, and trust me, you, you guys let us know it. You guys let me know it because uh, the comments were brutal, okay? You know, if you don't believe me, let me go ahead and read one up for y'all. So like I said, guys, after the Dolphins lost to the Ravens, the comments on the on my predictions just, just, just just became bad it just became very bad and if you guys don't believe me um let me go find one. Oh, here's one this guy says oh look a limited intellectual person is talking shit. then he says 40 to nothing bitch take your dried out crack someplace else now i don't even know what this means but bro i trust me i i've already felt my pain but today anyways man like i said bro i'm not gonna be wrong twice man all right, I'm not gonna be wrong twice, and we will beat the Oakland Raiders. And I got five reasons today why we will beat the Oakland Raiders. Now, I wasn't gonna do this video. Somebody actually commented on my last video and said that I should do it. So I said, you know what, I will do the video. So if you guys wanna see any videos, um, just comment them, cause I, I don't know what you guys like and what you guys don't like, so I'll just be just uploading what I feel like was on my mind. But if you guys wanna see a, any kind of particular videos, just let me know. Uh, in the comments but anyways i'm gonna get into it so these are five reasons why miami dolphins will beat the oakland raiders reason number one the miami dolphins will beat them is because we're angry bro honestly miami dolphins are upset bro we just got blown out and embarrassed on national tv and we got a chance at redemption on national tv again because on nbc we gonna come to fight so that is the number one reason man we are upset man this team is not a team you want to make mad, all right? We typically don't lose multiple games in a row, okay? Beginning of the season, we lost a couple in a row. We typically don't lose multiple games in a row over this last season and a half, man. Last year, the Ravens came out and beat us, and that was our last regular season loss of the year. So, Ravens came out and blew us out last year as well in very similar fashion. That was a, our last loss of the year, and this might be our last loss of this year. Honestly, that might have been our last loss of this year, to be real with you. The Ravens got a number, but like I said, the Dolphins are angry. That is reason number one, man. This, this team is going to come out, and they're going to come out with something to prove, and I truly believe that. That is number one reason why Miami Dolphins will beat the Oakland Raiders. Number two reason the Miami Dolphins will beat the Oakland Raiders is we got a new running back. We traded a Jai. Now, this is probably sound like a bad reason. It's like, oh, really? Like, that? that's a downgrade King Drake. First of all, we don't know what King Drake got, all right? King Drake might got something. And then second of all, it's just... It's bigger than that, man. It shifted the culture of the team. Uh, it, it woke this team up because it really put it in our players' head that if you screw up, you literally can go. Point blank, period. So, so in Miami Dolphins players' head, they already know what time it is. I think everybody's going to buy into Gates because he know, they know he's not playing no games no more, bro. It's serious, bro. So it, it did hurt us, but it did help us as well. Hopefully, the positive outweighs the negative, and we can get this W. And so that's the reason number two. We traded the Jai. We proved a point. We got a message across to the team. So let's see how it works out on Sunday night. Reason number three. This is a big reason, bro. We at home. Now, Dolphins are undefeated at home, man. All right? Dolphins are undefeated at home. Uh, if you look at the uh, standings, it will show that we have a loss at home that actually was in London, in Miami, okay? In Sun Life Arena, bro. In Sun Life Stadium, bro. Miami Dolphins haven't lost, okay? So, we are at home, as y'all can see. We're undefeated, you know what I'm saying? And I, I don't expect that to change, uh, to be honest with you. I don't expect that to change. Not saying, you know, I'm not sleeping on the Raiders or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I haven't knocked the Raiders yet. I haven't said they're a trash team. All I want is something. Well, let me let me write the list real quick. Somebody, listen, please, God. I don't know who it's going to be, Jawan James or Larry Tunsil, bro. Please block for color. Now, listen, nigga, I ain't saying I'm the biggest color fan, but come on, bro. We need y'all to block because Khalil Mack is going to be off that edge with a vengeance, bro. And I don't want to see my quarterback go down again. I don't have to, but I'm getting tired of seeing my starting quarterbacks take these hits, man. So, please. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be Larry Thompson. I don't know if it's going to be Jawan James. Somebody, bro. Help him out, bro. Please. Anyways, we're going to get back in this list. Like I said, number three is because we're at home. Now, number four. 
Devontae Parker is back. This is Devontae Parker's first game back from injury. Now, that is huge, man, because Devontae Parker and Jay Cutler probably had the best relationship out of all receivers. I know uh, Jarvis Landry is getting a lot of the uh, targets now, and but but when Devontae Parker was playing, it looked like that was his favorite target because you know Jay Cutler like to throw shit up, and, and Devontae Parker is like the biggest receiver we got, so he just be throwing that joint up. So I, I think that's going to help us a lot. That is definitely helpful. Uh, Devontae Parker is a very, very underrated player in the league, man. If, if he could, I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, and don't say this is a stretch, he is literally, if he don't get hurt, bro, he could be Julio level, bro. If he could stay healthy, bro. I don't, I, you, it's not that many receivers going up and getting that ball like that. And that young, bro, and going up and getting the ball like that, that fast, that quick, that athleticism, bro. It's not many receivers like that, man. That, I'm saying, bro, all right? Y'all see on national TV. Y'all don't got to believe me. Y'all see on national TV. Tune in, tune in tomorrow night. Tune in tomorrow night. Trust me. It's not, it, he's special. He's special, bro. He's special. Now, the fifth and final reason and the most important reason why I think Miami Dolphins will win this game is that we've had a 10-day break. And guys, you don't understand how big this was for the Miami Dolphins because we did not have a bye week. Going into that Ravens game, Adam Gates or somebody on the Dolphins said that they were treating this like a bye week, which kind of gave me a... Uh, idea that we probably was gonna lose because if you're treating a week like a bye week, it's kind of now we're supposed to do. But anyway, we treated that Thursday night football week like a bye week. So basically, this was our bye week. We got our bye week, and now it's time to roll. Ten days off, ten days to get this to get this situated, bro. It should be no excuses, bro. We should come out there and execute this offense. We have ten whole days to get this together, and I, trust me, man. Adam Gates, I trust in him. He's a genius coach. Hopefully. He's a genius coach, hopefully. I trust in him, though. And, and, and you give Adam Gates 10 days to game plan for you? You give Adam Gates 10 days to game for you, plan for you, bro? You're going to have problems, bro. It's gonna, you're going to have problems. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the videos. Go over the, the five reasons again. One, we had a long week. Two, new running back and new changes to the organization. Three, Parker's back. Four, we're at home. And five, the Dolphins are angry, man. That wasn't in that order. That was the order I wrote it down in, but I said it in a different order. But anyway, those are my five reasons. Let me know what your predictions are. What do you think the Dolphins have to do to win the game? You know what I'm saying? It's not just about me. What are you guys thinking? It's all opinion based on it. It's no, you know, right or wrong answer. It's just what you think, and this is what I think. I'm going to make a prediction before I go. My prediction is that Kenya Drake will score our first rushing touchdown of the season tomorrow night, man. That is my prediction. I think we'll get our first running touchdown. And, uh might be multiple to be real with you but i know for a fact he will get in the end zone tomorrow anyways guys that's gonna wrap up the video appreciate you guys for watching this uh see y'all after the fans game maybe i'll upload a video before the fans game i'm not sure you want to see that but <laughs> let's go fans <laughs> let's go fans come on For the crystal many times, but I knew this moment to come. Now it's my time. I gotta make up for all them nights that my mama cried. I'm going in, I'm putting.